the righteous minister a king had a minister he was very judicious the king also had a lawyer who used to take bribes and give wrong decisions in court cases one day as usual he took bribe and gave a wrong decision the accused came to the minister for help the minister looked at the case he fought the case and won it the people praised him and the king made him the judge however the lawyer was very angry he became jealous of the minister and wanted to put him in trouble one day he told the king that the minister was getting more popular than the king the king became insecure and gave the minister various impossible tasks to perform the minister with the help of god performed all of them the king was very impressed he realized that the lawyer was jealous of the minister and was extracting revenge he banished the lawyer from his kingdom the clever prince once the king of banaras fought and conquered another kingdom he took all the wealth of that kingdom to his own kingdom he filled the wealth in iron pots and buried the pots in the royal garden now unknown to him the prince of that kingdom escaped in disguise later he became an ascetic and reached banaras with his disciples the king was charmed by the ascetic's wisdom and made him a royal guest the prince knew a spell through which he could find buried treasure so he uttered the spell and found the treasure buried in the garden quickly he took out the treasure and fled away with it when the king came to know about the theft great sorrow befell him then his wise minister said to him sir why do you mourn for something which was never yours the king realized that what the minister said was true he accepted his loss gracefully the naga king once there was a prince named gautam when he came of age he became the king and his father renounced the world and became an ascetic He lived in a forest on the bank of a river. The river was named after a Naga king. The Naga king was very kind and compassionate. He was also very religious. He was greatly impressed by the ascetic. Soon they became good friends. One day King Gautam visited the hermitage There he met the Naga king and was impressed by him One day some men seized the Naga king They wanted to steal the gem on his head But King Gautam came to the rescue of the Naga king He fought with the men and freed the Naga king. 
the naga king thanked king gautam for saving his life the fire god and the quail once a quail lived in a nest with its siblings now this quail was different from its siblings unlike the other quails it never ate worms or insects it relied only on twigs as a result it became weak one day while the other quails were away looking for food a fierce fire broke out in the jungle one by one all the animals ran from the forest but the quail could not fly as it was very weak slowly the fire closed in on the quail's nest the quail said to the fire god o oh lord i am too weak to fly all my brothers are away i can offer you nothing but my weak body Hearing the quail's emotional words the fire god took pity on it and retreated without harming the nest Thanks for watching do like share subscribe to Sahil Bookhouse